Thanks to Interprefy Live Translation Service, you should hear all questions and answers in your native language. Please make sure to navigate to the globe icon at the bottom of the Zoom screen to select your language preference. After a short delay, you should hear translations. Please use the Zoom hand raise feature to cue yourself in line for questions during your region's allotted time period, and we will call on you to ask your question. Please remember to direct your question to a player, players, or the coach. And also please wait three to five seconds in between questions and answers to allow for accurate translations. We will now take questions from Korean media. <coughs> We would like to get a question from the Korean media. So if you have any question, please raise your hand with the icon on the bottom of the Zoom screen. And please feel free to ask a question to the team. Adrian from Kungmin Daily. I'd like to have a question for the humanoid. So what was the reason of the uh, loss of today's like game? Uh, why the, what was the main reason for the today's game of the loss to three to one? Um, I think the main reason was that they just played better from in mid game. Uh, I think there were two games where we were ahead and we, and it should have been one from our side, but they managed to turn it around. Uh, so I think they, they just played really well together from like 15 minutes onwards. I believe from Fumans. So the other players can have an answer. So compared to the last year, what was the difference this year? So what could you learn from this weird, uh, this year's World Championship? Sorry, can I get can I get the question again? I'm sorry. So if anyone can from the team can have an answer. So compared to the last year's world championship, what was the difference this year's like world championship? And what could you learn from this year's world championship, 2021's world championship? I mean, last year I joined with my team that comes from TCL that we didn't have much hope to win the Bells, but this time we came as a representative of Europe that we had chance to win Bells. That's what we believe. That's what we work for. It's it feels bad that we lose to be in like quarterfinals, but I think we did what we can do. So I'm really proud of my team. That's all. <laughs> I have a question to coach. So you're the last uh, European team at this world. So what is your overall like, impression to the 2021 World Championship? Um, so you were attacking the Kenyan at the Tolkien. So what was your strategy about that play? So none of the players took exhaust against Kenan in game two. So could you also break down that strategy? None of the players took exhaust against Canyon. No, um, yeah, that was the question. Kenan. From oh, Kenan. against Canon. None of the players took exhaust against Canon on top lane. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Kenyan. No, 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 it's my fault. Um, I'm not really sure I can answer that question for the players, to be honest with you. Uh, that's quite specific. Um, that's probably more uh, appropriate for one of them to answer. So we didn't take exhaust because we knew we are going to punish him and then he's not going to be really strong in the game. And I actually think we had exhaust on Rakan, but I'm not sure. <laughs> because Kaiser said, wait, did we? Okay, we don't have exhaust. <laughs> the, I mean, we punished the cannon. He was 0-3, but they were just better in the mid game. So that's why we lost. We weren't really afraid of the cannon in that game. Thank you for your answer. Thank you for your question. Games, Park Junsu, Gita, Nim, Chilman, Butak, Dirimida. So at the bit lane, 
So you have been fighting with the Soulmaker and mid lane. So what was your impression for the mid lane like games? Um, I mean, I think Soulmaker always plays really well. Um, he's looking like the best mid at the tournament, to be honest. And yeah, whenever I play against him, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm just hoping I can meet him again in the future. And you also played the, against BDD as well from the LCK. So any impression about him as well? Oh, yeah. Uh, BDD is also really good. I think the LCK millionaires are probably better than all of the other regions uh, at this world. Uh, I think all of them play really well and they play the game uh, really like strategically and slowly, uh, which is a bit different than, for example, the Chinese millionaires. And I think it suits the meta right now. And yeah, I think they are just the best. Yeah, 마지막으로 국민일보 윤민석 기자님 질문 받고 마치겠습니다. So this is the last question from the Mr. Yun from the Kumin Daily. I have a question for the human elite. So from the first set. So you uh, choose the uh, termination, not uh, the uh, old guys uh, for the Korean, for the Sidra. So there's a question for, so what was, what was your like strategy for choosing the Sidra for your play? Uh, can you repeat the question? Sorry. So from the first set, so what was your reason you choose the termination for the first set? So for the Cedra, so there's a like, uh, like comment that admirance is better for the play. So what was what is your like opinion for the like comment or feedback from the Korea? So uh, the question was about your um, rune choice. Uh, why did you choose to take resolve? instead of inspiration. And also the Korean commentator said, Merktress is really good into Syndra. So what, are you, what do you also think about that item build? Um, oh yeah, I think um, I just wanted to play with Second Wind uh, in the game because Syndra can have a lot of uh, early game poke in lane. And Second Wind helps a lot with that. And also I can take the unflinching against the CC. Uh, and yeah, Mercs are really good against Syndra. I think I... I don't even remember if I bought it, to be honest. Uh, uh, maybe I did on Oriana. Uh, but in, this, in the second game, I didn't with Victor because uh, I think it was the only AP and they didn't really have that much CC other than that. Uh, and I just wanted to go for Benchy's second instead of, uh, instead of Mark's. Okay, we will now transition to taking questions from Chinese media. Uh, Question to the coach. How do you comment the performance of Mad Lions on this world? And what on, on which aspects do you think your team has grown through these worlds? Um, I think... I'm really proud of everything that we've achieved this year uh, in general. I mean, this year we've only lost two best of fives and both of them were to, to Damwon, which I think is quite quite a good achievement from us. Uh, I think we've grown a lot as a team and especially we've grown a lot at being, um, how to put it, at being really confident, even in losing situations, really proactive. And that's the thing that I'm the most proud of. In terms of what we've improved on inside the game, I think our early game has gradually gotten a lot better throughout the year. And especially at Worlds, I think our approach towards the first 10 minutes of the game was a lot better. Um, so I think today we had two uh, pretty good early games against Dam 1 and the third one didn't go so well, but uh, I think that's a, an improvement for us for sure. A question to Eloya. Today, um, this year is your first year in the European region and your first time in the world. So what are your feelings in participating in these worlds? Mm. 
I feel like I could have done way more individually. So it's a bit of mixed feelings. But overall, the experience was really good. And it's as I expected. Uh, playing against the best is what actually motivates me to keep playing and to keep working as hard as I can. So, yeah, I think that it was a really good learning experience for me. And in the upcoming worlds, I'm going to perform much better. Thank you for the question. A question to all the players. On these worlds, you are very competitive and you are playing against the defending champion, DK. What are your feelings playing against them? I mean, uh, playing against the best is always uh, like really fun for us. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I think we could have done a, a lot more. I think uh, we didn't play our best today, maybe. But uh, I think, of course, uh, Damon uh, being the defending champion, of course. And uh, I think there are also the strongest team left in the tournament. Uh, I think it's always a fun learning experience because we always uh, used to watch uh, uh, Damon team fighting or like how they set up the map. So uh, playing against them is like a, a another like... Uh, good feeling right and uh, i feel like we can grow a lot from uh, playing against the best so uh, it's always a really fun experience A question to Amut. So the first, the three, the third game, you are being countered like crazy. So what were your feelings at that time when you picked your famous um, champion Wukong and being countered all the time? Uh, thanks for the question. Uh, in game, in that game, early game was a bit hard for me that I was like looking for some gold to come back. Like I was looking for opportunities for me, for myself to come back in the game. That's why I was like trying to find some solutions for myself. It didn't work that well, <laughs> but I still like, I'm still happy that in our last game in the Worlds that I played my favorite champion and we still lost, but in the, I think we played like decent, like not decent, but we at least show competition against the best team, best teams. So it was still fun experience for me. Thank you. Hey, Ariel, I will hand to you. Thank you. Uh, we will now take questions from English speaking media. Uh, please use the Zoom hand raise feature to queue your question and I will call on you. Travis Gafford. This question is for Kaiser. Uh, Kaiser, do you think any team can beat Damwon in this tournament? Uh, I think there are two teams maybe that can uh, take down Damwon. I think it's either EDG or T1. I think uh, personally, I think uh, T1 has the best chance. And I think the next match that Damwon is going to play is T1, right? And I feel like that's going to be the, the real grand final. Uh, I feel like whoever is going to win that uh, match is going to win worlds. Uh, I think I would still favor Damwon, like 70-30 maybe, uh, to win the whole thing. But I think uh, T1 and EDG uh, have, it, have what it takes uh, to take them down. Quick reminder to try to wait three to five seconds before answering. Benjamin Mock, Dexerto. Uh, hi, my question is for Mac. Uh, you've obviously been around the uh, European scene for a long time, way back to Challenges of Origin in 2017. And you've kind of grown on along with kind of the rise of the LEC. Uh, what's it going to take for an LEC team to take down these high-flying Korean teams, in your opinion? Uh, 
I think overall the region will have to develop a bit more. I think this year Europe actually had uh, a relatively weak year when compared to previous. Um, I feel that, I mean, if you look historically at, uh, for example, the old G2 roster, it took that roster, you know, a few tries to get to a point where they were ready to then go and compete internationally. Like it uh, requires a lot of experience because it's not often in Europe that we get to scrim and play regularly against uh, top tier teams in the world. Whereas I think Korean teams, Chinese teams have an advantage there in that they can scrim each other regularly. Um, so I think it's a combination of experience and the um, region leveling up a bit and having a good year, which I feel it didn't have the strongest year this year. Jonah from Presna. Hi, question for the coach. Uh, what was the most complex or difficult aspect to face as a team in this series uh, with against uh, Dangwon Kia? Uh, I think there are a couple of things. Um, firstly, I think the red side draft against them was very difficult because they have quite broad champion pools. Um, secondly, I think, uh, as we already commented on, their mid game was uh, very strong. And thirdly, I think um, the big deciding factor was probably team fighting. I think their team fighting is is really excellent. And that's one of the things that we are uh, kind of renowned for in Europe. So that was a, a difficult matchup for us. Ashley Kang. Uh, I really hope my mic is working this time. Um, I truly apologize for the previous question as I was getting a feedback that translation site wasn't working. Um, thank you so much for giving us a great series. I have a question to Humanoid. Um, Humanoid number one, in that third game, it almost looked like you were considering Yasuo to go with Gragas and Wukong, but pivoted to Victor in the last second. Can you tell me about this choice and also what would be your one biggest takeaway from today's series? Really appreciate it. Um, so the Yasuo hover was just a troll from my teammate Karzi. Uh, <laughs> uh, because I don't really play that champion and he was just he was just hovering it for fun. Uh, so yeah, I didn't really consider picking that. And um, the thing that I learned, I guess, in the last Worlds and, and at MSI as well, is that uh, none of the teams uh, are unbeatable. And you can, if you're, if you're a decent team, you can win against anyone if you get a good day. Um, so I'm not really going into the series against the best teams uh, scared, you know, uh, as I maybe did that two years ago, but now I always feel like we can win any any game and any best of five. Oh, okay. Yasuo Pip 같은 거 경우에는 카르지 선수가 장난 삼아 올려둔 거였고 사실은 고려하지 않은 그런 픽이었다고 합니다. Inven Global Quest. Hi, um, this next question is for Mac. Um, Mad Lions obviously was a team that rose in performance and just took over the LDC in 2021. How do you reflect on the the team's growth the pl and the players' growth, both individually as a team from the beginning of the year to basically now? Thank you. Uh, I think that actually it's been uh, a really wonderful year for me personally, and I hope the players feel so as well. Um, I'd like to express my gratitude to all of the players and also all of the staff at Mad Lions for um, what has been for me, at least like outside of winning kind of personally, one of the uh, best teams to work with in terms of having fun and feeling um, close to each other and trusting each other. That's been uh, a real joy and a real pleasure for me. Um, and that's the biggest takeaway from this year, honestly. Joan, Esports Maniacos. Hi, hello. This is a question for, for El Yoya. Uh, I know that frustration, as, as you said before, is what drives you right now, but taking into account that this is your first whole year competing as a at the top level, internationally speaking, how would you rate this year overall? Because you have won, you as a team, have won both LEC splits. You made it to the semifinals on MSI and quarterfinals on Worlds. So how would you rate the year? 
Thank you very much. I feel like the year in terms of results for the team has been pretty good, but individually I'm not that happy with my performance. I think I could have played way better. So overall, I would rate it as maybe seven, six. Um, I think seven. Mm, I feel like I have learned a lot, a lot and it's going to help me a lot to improve for next year because I know what, I'm, what I want to do and what I don't want to do. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, in terms of individually, I don't feel really proud of my performance, even though I think I have some good games. I feel like I could have given way more. But in terms of results, I think it was a good year. Thank you for the question. Luis, bonus stage. Yes, my question is for El Joya. Uh, in the jungle, do you think there were internal factors where you lost your games today, like um, composition or mistakes, uh, or was just the rubble just better than you? I think he was just better than me. I think Canyon today played better than me, and that's it. Even if, I mean, it was obviously like they had uh, wonder. Like I don't really want to have in consideration drafts. I think. All my champions were capable of playing better and he just did better than me. So, yeah. Are there any questions for Karzi or Kaiser? Please raise your hand. Nick, Invin Global. Hi, hey, uh, thanks for taking the time. My question's for Karzi. Uh, Karzi, you played against both Genji and Damwon Kia at this tournament. Uh, Cloud9, who played against Damwon Kia in the group stage, goes against Genji next. Based on your familiarity and experience playing against these two teams and the information you have, what do you think Cloud9's chances are against Genji to make it to the semifinals? Thank you for the question. So I actually think that Cloud9 has pretty high chances of making semifinals. I think that Genji is the best match for them. Mm, I think that the other teams are just too strong for them. So I think that Cloud9 has like, I'd say, really high chances of making it. Even though I think that Genji can be also really good on, if they have a good day. That's it. MGG, Leo. So hello, and my question are for both uh, Kaiser and Kazi. So both of you uh, have lived a lot of adventure with Mad Lions, and this year was pretty exciting with two titles, one MSI and one Worlds. So what are the best memories that you will take home uh, at the end of the day? So for me, the best memory is playing against uh, LCK and LPL both lanes and just smashing them sometimes. That makes me pretty happy, and that's what I take. Oh. I mean, I agree with Kazi. I think playing the MSI against someone was like my one of my favorite experiences. I think the second one was uh, winning LEC for the first time. I think uh, those two were my favorite moments. Final question, Niklas from DPA. Um, hi, um, I know this will probably be rather difficult for you to answer, so the question is to the players and probably also Kasi in particular. Um, you guys have already been sort of hinting on Twitter um, today, but also um, in interviews over, over the tournament that there might be roster changes after this tournament. Um, uh, Amut, you tweeted, you know, that you're going to miss Kasi, and Kasi, you said that you might not end up sticking together after this tournament. So I know it will be difficult to answer, but could you guys sort of comment on what the future of the team will be after this tournament and going into next year? Nothing is confirmed yet. And uh, I'm sorry to say that today is not the day to talk about roster changes. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you for your questions and thank you Mad Lions for your time.